because astronomers have hit the jackpot. This is their dream come true. A new chapter in astronomy has opened up. From the beginning of life till this date, mankind has only had one question. Are we alone in this universe? With the current advancements in science and astronomy, it now seems possible that we have found our answer. Michio Kaku, a well-known physicist, finally spoke about alien life on Proxima b. Join us in this video as we delve into what Michio Kaku says about intelligent life. How does Proxima b look? Does it support life? And what the James Webb Telescope has found on this exoplanet? Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist, author of The Future of Humanity and co-founder of String Theory, has been seen a lot in the media talking about intelligent life, UFOs, and habitable planets. Well, in an interview with Fox Business, Kaku said, 36 intelligent alien races are sharing our galaxy. To prove his statement, he again added, Look up, see the Milky Way galaxy. You are now staring at 100 billion stars in our backyard, the Milky Way galaxy, and then make a ballpark estimate. How many of those stars have planets? How many of those planets have oceans? How many of those oceans have fish and aquatic life? How many of them have intelligent life? And so this is called Drake's equation, trying to get a ballpark estimate of how many civilizations there are in the galaxy. And that's where they came up with the number 36. This was not the only time when Kaku supported such a thing. If we run down the lane and look at the times when astronomers at the European Southern Observatory discovered an exoplanet, Proxima Centauri, B. Kaku stated that, Now, the holy grail of astronomy is to find the closest Earth-like twin, a doppelganger in outer space. And now we've nailed it. In 2016, astronomers using the European Southern Observatory in Chile discovered an exoplanet orbiting around an M-type star called Proxima Centauri. Situated at 0.048 astronomical units from its host star, Proxima Centauri b takes around 11 days to complete one orbit. The team of astronomers in Chile didn't observe Proxima b directly. Instead, they used a tried-and-true method of plane hunting. Astronomers indirectly deduced its existence by calculating the gravitational pull on Proxima Centauri by a possible orbiting body. Proxima b is 4.6 million miles away from its host star, or in other terms, it's just 1 20th of the distance between the Sun and Earth. If you consider this rendered image true, then there's an incredible orange sky between Proxima b and its star, depicting a perpetual sunset. For the past two decades, astronomers have been searching for planets outside our solar system. During this period, they found 3,000 exoplanets and only 44 seem favorable to us. All these exoplanets are present at a distance of hundreds of light years. But the coolest thing that makes this discovery a jackpot is its little distance from the Earth and the zone in which it is present. If you looked at the night sky with a telescope, you would see stars or planets that are present at a distance of hundreds of thousands of light years. But Proxima b is different. It's just four light years away from our planet. If, by any chance, you lie on a light beam, it will only take you four years to reach the surface of Proxima b. It's the closest planet ever detected outside our solar system. As Michio Kaku says, it's a planet presented in Earth's backyard. According to Kaku, Proxima b is a doppelganger of our planet, 30% bigger than the Earth and just right from the mother star. The answer to the burning question of whether Proxima b is a host for alien life lies in its habitability. Now what makes a planet habitable? First of all, it's the position of the planet. If a planet is too close to the mother star, its oceans will boil, and if it's too far away, the oceans will freeze. In the case of Proxima b, it's present at the right place in the habitable zone. Liquid water is the biggest sign of life. In fact, oceans were the first place on Earth where life evolved. So in order to support life, a planet must have enough water. And Proxima b is at a distance from its star that allows the temperature to pool liquid water on its surface. The changes in life cultivation are higher on Proxima b. Having a circular orbit around the host star is another aspect that makes a planet favorable for life. And if we look closely at all the research done on Proxima b, the shape of its orbit is still unknown. 
A stable rotational axis is another aspect that can make a planet's atmosphere favorable for life. Having a stable rotation has enabled the Earth to nourish life. If Proxima b has a stable rotational axis like Earth, then we can assume that there might be life on its surface. But if it has a tilted rotational axis like Mars, it would lose most of its atmosphere and water if there is any. Having all these aspects in mind, let's dive into Proxima b's rotation pattern and its surface to find out whether it's suitable for life to exist. Proxima b revolves around Proxima Centauri, which is dimmer and less massive than the Sun. Scientists believe the planet is tidally locked to its star, which means there doesn't exist a day-night cycle. For being tidally locked to the star, only one side of Proxima b can face, and the other side always remains in the dark, which makes it a little less likely than Earth. The insights about Proxima b's rotation have made it more unclear whether there are habitable conditions across the entire planet, or only one side of Proxima b has life-supporting conditions, and the other side has an extreme climate. Despite being in the habitable zone, there is something that might convey that Proxima b cannot support life. This planet orbits around its flare star, Proxima Centauri, and encounters extreme ultraviolet radiation coming directly from the star. These rays are undoubtedly hundreds of times greater than the radiation Earth receives from the Sun. Proxima Centauri's extreme radiations generate enough energy that can easily strip away molecules on the planet's surface, whether it's the smallest, like hydrogen, or the heaviest ones, such as nitrogen and oxygen. If we talk in more scientific terms, then we can say, when high-energy extreme ultraviolet radiation ionizes atmospheric gases, it knocks off electrons, and creates a swath of electrically charged particles, which is what causes these rays to take away the atmosphere. The freshly generated electrons gain enough energy during this process to easily escape the planet's gravity and rocket through the atmosphere. As Jeremy Drake, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics has said, things can get interesting if an exoplanet holds onto its atmosphere, but Proxima b's atmospheric loss rates here are so high that habitability is implausible. So, assuming that there exists some human-like species on Proxima b would be nothing but delusion. But if you are still firm on your assumption that some weird alien life exists on an exoplanet, then the James Webb Telescope can transform your assumption into a scientifically proven belief and show you exactly what you have been thinking all this time. Recent images taken from the James Webb Telescope could just have provided evidence of life on its surface. But as the planet is so close to Proxima Centauri, and its one part is hidden from JWST's near-infrared camera, NIARCAM, we couldn't see the surface and its alien life clearly. But for the time being, we can just cherish scientists' newest explorations in the world beyond our approach. Recently, the James Webb Telescope, JWST, took some direct photographs of planets outside our solar system. The exoplanet under the lens is a gas giant with no rocky surface. It is named HIP-65426b. These images are the first ever direct images of an exoplanet that have ever been taken by JWS. And NASA has officially released the magnificent photographs to the public. Sasha Hinckley, the associate professor of astronomy who led these observations stated, this is a transformative moment, not only for Webb, but also for astronomy generally. The images have shown the exoplanet through four different filters, pointing out that the telescope's near-infrared camera, NIARCAM, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, are equipped with coronagraphs, which can black out the starlight and focus directly on the subjects and capture direct images of exoplanets. JWST's infrared gaze is so powerful that it can capture worlds beyond our solar system. The pictures are just a trailer for what future observations will reveal more about the exoplanets and their surfaces. Aaron Carter, a researcher at the University of California who led the analysis of the images, said, At first all I could see was light from the star, but with careful image processing I was able to remove that light and uncover the planet. These findings from the James Webb Telescope have made us believe that by the next two to three years, we will be able to uncover the direct surface of Proxima b. And by the year 2030, scientists might take a voyage to the twin planets and explore their surface conditions. 
But under the current findings, we can't claim that we have found alien life on Proxima b. Just because it lies in the habitable zone and has similarities to Earth, we cannot call it Earth 2.0. In order to exhibit life, a planet has to contain enough water, an atmosphere that allows climate regulation, the maintenance of water-friendly surface pressure, and a shield from hazardous space weather. Till now, Proxima b has not shown such signs. However, we are still waiting to see what future findings we can draw from the James Webb Telescope's future operations, 